Welcome to my Contra playthrough. Okay, stage one jungle. <laughs> Gotta love the kick ass jungle stage song. Oh, sorry. Anyway. Since I'm playing the US version of Contra, it's obvious that the opening cutscene was removed from the Japanese version. The storyline from the Japanese version goes as this. Apparently, an alien monster named Red Falcon has arrived on Earth somewhere off the coast of New Zealand. A couple of years later, he arises to start his invasion on mankind. Never one to let the bad guys do as they please, the government sends in Bill Riser and Lance Bean to stop Red Falcon's nefarious scheme. And that's about it. As I said, Back in my Sizzler 07 random video, the first level can be beaten without dying. It's just a matter of practice and patience. See? All it took was practice and patience. And yes, I am good at this game. The second stage differs from the first level because it's a pseudo 3D view. It's kind of basic, although it can be a little tough at first. Just blow up the core spots and advance to the next room. The force field won't kill you, but it can stun you, leaving you open to attack. There's one red guy per room. If you kill him, he'll cough up a power-up. We're on to the second boss. To make the boss appear, blow up all of the red targets. You do not need to destroy the turrets, but you can if you want to stop the nuisance. Third stage, you're going up. Don't you just love the waterfall stage music as well as well as the rest of the soundtrack of this game? Sorry, I've always wanted to do that. Anyway, keep an eye out for the scuba divers as you're going up. They appear again in stage 5. <coughs> Excuse me. Just about to reach the third boss, which is, which is completely different, well, a little bit different, from the one in the arcade version. The 
fourth stage. There are some rooms in which the core spots are protected by a little barrier, which you'll need to destroy in order to expose these targets. The place is a little longer, a little tougher, but it's not too bad if you know what you're doing. One more room, we're on to the fourth boss. I'm not gonna bother getting a power from this red guy. Anyhow, in this boss room, there's snipers and eagle men coming to kill you. Them. This boss, you can only damage these things if they are aligned together. You may need a spread gun because of the molecule shots. It's not necessary to have the spread gun with you, but I'm just recommending it. Anyway. Already halfway through the game. Boy, am I fast. By the way, watch out for the grenades that are thrown out of the trees. Flashing power up pod, I mean, flashing power up is a mega shell. Getting it kills everything on screen. Unfortunately, there's only one of them in the entire game, which kind of sucks. Oh man, SUV like tank. You're pretty much gonna need a spread gun if you already get out of this in one piece. Especially if you're playing the Japanese version, you will need the spread gun. The Japanese version said SUV tanks will run you over about two to three seconds after it stops to shoot you. Other versions just run you over a little bit later than it does in the Japanese version. Just a little heads up for those who are doing no death run. Dodge grenades again. Blow those D bags to Kingdom Come. And we're on to the fifth boss, which is a cinch if you still have to spread gun with you. That wraps up the first part of my Contra playthrough. Tune in to see my second part.